Let's do an example of applying the voltage law and the current law to the following circuit with two loops. Let's label that current I1. Let's label that current I2. And finally, let's label that current I3. The choice of directions for those three currents is somewhat arbitrary, but it doesn't actually change the, the real currents in the circuit. All right, so here's our first equation. We apply KCL at that node. Sum of the currents in is equal to zero. So that means that I1 is flowing in, so that's plus I1. I2 is flowing out, so that's minus I2, and I3 is flowing in, so that's plus I3. That sums to zero. All right, that's our first equation, equation one. Now we're going to apply KVL. KVL around the top loop will give us the following equation. Sum of the voltage drops is equal to zero. So we have a voltage drop of one times I2 minus 14 plus 3 I2 and finally 2 times I3. That sums up to zero. Rearrange that in standard form, we'll get 4 I2 plus 2 I3 is equal to 14. Let's move on, apply KVL to the bottom. Let's start going around this loop this way first voltage drop our second voltage drop our third voltage drop and our fourth voltage drop so KVL around the bottom says that V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus V4 sums to zero V1 is minus 8 volts. V2 is, let's see, I3, we need to write this in terms of I3. So I3 is flowing from right to left. So V2, it's a little bit confusing here, V2 is actually minus 2 times I3. I3 is flowing into the negative terminal of V2, so the voltage drop V2 related to I3 is minus 2 I3. Let's just relabel these currents here. This current is I1, so that current is still I1, and that current I1. So V3 is 4 times I1, and V4 is 1 times I1. That sums up to 0. Let's rearrange these terms and, and put it in standard form. So we have 5 I1 minus 2. I3, we leave this blank, there's no I2, that sums up to 8. So we can express the solution in matrix form as follows. The coefficients of the first equation, 1, minus 1, 1. The second equation, 
0, 4, and 2. For the third, third equation, 5, 0, minus 2. Multiply that by our i vector. That results in the, the column vector 0, 14, and 8. So here's our IPython notebook code to solve the set of equations. We create the matrix, the column vector, do the solution, run the code, there's the answer. And the result from our IPython notebook shows us that I1 is 2 amps, I2 is 3 amps, and I3 is 1 amp.